Computational Imaging on the Electric Grid. We spend about half our lives under artificial illumination. Artificial light is everywhere, from street lamps at night to our offices and homes during all hours. To our eyes, these lights appear static. However, in reality, they are constantly flickering, as seen in this slow motion video of the scene. The lights in the scene flicker because most of the bulbs are powered by the electric grid. Each bulb type has a unique flicker signature in time. For example, here is the signature of a sodium bulb. These bulbs are common in street lighting. The spinning clock illustrates the periodic nature of the bulb's flicker. A bulb's flicker cycle lasts one hundredth of a second. Bulbs on the grid are powered by alternating current, namely AC. The top graph shows the AC voltage. The AC voltage periodically alternates at a frequency of 50 or 60 Hz, depending on the country. Bulbs flicker at twice this frequency. That is 100 or 120 times each second. The flicker signature of bulbs depends on the bulb type and electronics. Here we show raw measurements of flicker signatures for different bulb types. We call this signature a bulb response function. We compiled a database of bulb response functions for many common bulbs. Our database of electric lights, named Delight, is available online. Recognising AC lights and grid phase. Power plants supply AC voltage in three phases. Each phase is carried by an exclusive power line. One phase is delayed by a third of the AC period and is termed phase 120 degrees. Another phase is delayed by two thirds of the AC period and is termed phase 240 degrees. Bulb flicker thus depends on the AC phase that the bulb is connected to. Using the Delight database, the AC phase can be recognised in a scale of a city. Such city scale grid information is valuable to power grid engineers. Let's see an example. Here is a close up on a scene containing many bulbs. Let's look at one bulb. Below is this bulb's measured flicker signature. We discover the bulb type and AC phase by searching for the closest match in the Delight database. In this case, this is a high pressure sodium bulb connected to phase 120 degrees. Here is another sodium bulb connected to a different phase. And here are two bulbs whose type is different than sodium. Notice that their signature is different from that of sodium bulbs. Analyzing scenes having complex lighting. Let's look at this hallway. Here is a conventional image. And here is an image sequence captured using our special camera system. The sequence spans the flicker cycle. This sequence is showed slowed down by a factor 130, since it is too fast to be perceived by the naked eye. Here, the effect is digitally amplified for better visualisation. By processing the sequence captured using our system, we can reveal hidden information about the scene and show the scene in a new and different light. Specifically, the scene can be shown as composed by distinct illumination components. Here we show a digital rendering of the hallway, as if only bulbs connected to AC phase zero degrees were active. And here's the hallway as if illuminated only by bulbs connected to phase 120 degrees. 
and the same for phase 240. Let's switch between the sources again to observe the different illumination components. Once we have these components, we can digitally recompose the scene as if some bulbs are exchanged for others that had not been present when the photos were taken. For example, here we show how the room would appear if bulbs connected to phase 240 are replaced by sodium bulbs. Here is another example. This scene has four components. And here we reveal the scene's illumination components. Here we observe a scene through a window. The window causes a reflection. Our system separated the outdoor scene from the indoor reflection. The key for doing this is that outdoors, sunlight does not flicker, but indoor lighting is affected by flicker. We designed a novel camera called the ACAM to capture scenes under flickering illumination. To capture the scene above during the night, a conventional camera shutter must remain open for one fifth of a second to let enough light in to reach the sensor. But such a long exposure cannot detect the flicker dynamics. To capture the flicker dynamics, there is a need for an exposure time that is a fraction of the flicker cycle, marked here in red, if a conventional camera was used. But having such a short exposure, the resulting photo would be very noisy because not enough light would reach the sensor. The ACAM has a programmable optical shutter called mask between the sensor and camera lens. The camera exposure is set to span hundreds of flicker cycles. During this long exposure, the programmable mask blocks the light from the scene at all times except during specific preset brief intervals in each cycle. These preset intervals all correspond to the same fraction of the flicker period. The ACAM is physically connected in an AC outlet. This ensures that the mask unblocks the light at the precise instant within each flicker cycle. To summarise, we present a new and exciting way to view scenes that are illuminated by bulbs plugged to the electric grid. For more information about the project, please visit the links below.